Okay, folks, here we go. This is Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Unit 13, Lesson 54 on page 86. Um, highly recommend that you've already done this work and that you have the book um, before you watch this video. Um, today we're going to talk about figured bass. This is one of the uh, more challenging subjects that I found uh, when I was first getting into music theory. I thought this was pretty difficult, um, but we're going to try to break it down uh, simply for you and just kind of go over how to do this stuff. Okay, so figured bass. To indicate what inversion of a chord to use, numbers are added to the Roman numeral of that chord. This system originated during the Baroque period, 1600 to 1750, and is called figured bass. Okay. So first inversion tri version triads, third is the lowest note. Okay, so what they do here uh, is they go the number six three indicate the intervals of the chord from the bass lowest note. The middle note G is up a third from the bass note E and the top note C is up a sixth. Over time, the bottom three was dropped and shortened to one six. So basically all they're saying here is that this one, six, three right there that you see, what that's saying is that this is a one chord, so it's a C in the key of C, and above the bottom note, there's the sixth right there, and there's, I'm sorry, there's a third right there, and then there's a sixth right there. So you take the bottom note, go up, second, third, then this note, go up, boom, there's a six, and that's all that means, okay? Just talking about from the bottom note, there's a sixth above the bottom note and a three above the bottom note. Okay, another way to indicate a first inversion chord, inversion, inversion C chord, is by using the chord symbol C followed by the bass note written C over E. Okay, so this is commonly what you'll see in like a pop vocal book, piano vocal, um, C over E. So that's telling you it's a C major chord, but it's built on top of an E, which if you take a C major chord, C, E, G, you know, that's the third. And like we talked about in previous lessons, that is going to be first inversion whenever it's built on the third. Okay, second inversion triads, moving on here. Um, uh, the fifth is the lowest note, okay? In the key of C, the second inversion of the one chord is written one, six, four. The middle note C is up a fourth from the bass note G, and the top note E is up a sixth. Okay, so what that's saying is, look at here, you've got your one, six, four. All that means is that from the bottom note, you have a fourth above and you have a sixth above the bottom note, one, six, four. Just trying to keep it simple. Another way to indicate a second inversion C chord is C over G. So just like this one, you're going to find this in pop notation, you know, piano vocal type books. And that uh, is your C major chord, which we know is C for the root, E for the third, G for the fifth. So this C over G means that it's a second inversion C chord because it's built on G, which is the fifth. Okay, now we are going to keep going here. All right. So this next section here. Uh, we're actually going to do a little work, but let's talk about the 5-7 chord. So 5-7 chords, the 5-7 chord has four different positions, right? Because there's four notes, one, two, three, four, you can build uh, a 5-7 chord either on the root, the third, the fifth, or the seventh. So note here, this one, the C right here goes up to the top, there, boom, and it's built on the third. So instead of C, E, G, B flat... You've got the C up here, E, G, B flat, right? So that's the figured bass would be five, seven, five, three, because above the bottom note, you have a seven up here, a fifth up here, and a third up there from the bottom note. Figured bass is always based on from the bottom note. So like in this one, you've got a third up from the bottom note, a fifth up from the bottom note, and then a sixth up from the bottom note. So five, six, five, three, right? Here, five, six, four, three, five, six, four, two. And all that means is the intervals from the bottom note, okay? So from the bottom note here, you have a second above, you have a fourth above the bottom note, 
and you have a sixth above the bottom note. That's all that means. Anyway, back to this. So this is built on the, on the bottom note C, which is the root of a C7 chord. Here, this is built on the bottom note E, which is the third of a 5-7 chord, uh, of, a, of a C7 chord with E on the bottom, so C7 over E. Second inversion is built on the fifth, always. So that's gonna be C7 over G. And the third inversion is always gonna be built on the seven, so C7 over B flat. So you can just see that this chord starts with C, then the first inversion starts with this E here. Second inversion starts on the G. Third inversion starts on this B flat, okay? So it's just a different note, it's just rearranging them, but it's all a C7 chord just with a different bottom note. Okay, so and then these figured bass notes, and you'll wanna reference this often as you move on in the book, right? So um, the five, the five, seven, five, sorry, the five, seven, five, three was shortened to five, seven in figure base. Five, six, five, three gets shortened to five, six, five. Five, four, three, or I'm sorry, five, six, four, three gets shortened to five, four, three. Five, six, four, two gets shortened to just four, two. So you'll want to make sure that you reference those as you go through. Okay, so here we are. We're just going to do the exercises, and I think I'm going to pinch zoom a little bit on these exercises so hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit more okay so write the chord symbol above the staff and the Roman numeral below the staff using figured bass where applicable for each chord in the key of C okay so they've got this example here which is already done and what this is saying is it's C over G so you know it's a C chord it's built on top of the G and then you also need the C, E, G in there, right? And then you know that's a one chord because um, we're in the key of C. It says that in the directions, right? The chord symbol above the staff and the Roman numeral below the staff using figured bass were applicable for each chord in the key of C. So all these chords are going to be in the key of C. That's what we're basing this on. Okay. And then you've got a fourth above the bottom and a sixth above the bottom. One, six, four. And remember... If you go and look up top, that gets shortened to one six, okay? Um, but here we go. So what do we got on the bottom here? Uh, it looks like we've got an A on the bottom. So we know this is gonna be over A, whatever the chord is, okay? And then, uh, let's see, what else have we got? We've got F, A, and C, okay? So F, A, C, I know that's an F chord. So that's gonna be F over A, because A is on the bottom, but it's still an F chord. And in the key of C, that's gonna be C, D, E, F. It's the fourth chord in the key of C, so that's gonna be a four chord. So you go ahead and put four right there. All right, now what do we have above this? It's gonna be a three above the bottom, and it's also gonna be um, let me see, so two, three, four, five, six, and it's a six, so this is a four, six, three, all right? All right, now let's move on to the next one. And remember, oh wait, no, sorry, the one, six, four doesn't get shortened to a one, six. That's just the six, three that gets shortened to a, to a one, six. The one, six, four remains one, six. My mistake, sorry about that teaching the wrong thing. All right, so this one, six, three can get shortened to just a one, six. All right, all right, next, um, you've got a B on the bottom. Okay, so let's just go over B. And then you've got, let's see here, you've got G, B, and D. So we know this is a G chord because G, B, D is how you build a G chord. And in the key of C, that's going to be C, D, E, F, G. It's going to be your five chord. Okay, and then what do we have here? We've got a three above, and we've got a sixth above. So that's going to be a five, six, three. Okay, and again, in a five, six, three case, you can just eliminate that three and just call it a five, six. Moving on, C on the bottom right here. So we're going to go over C. And what chord is this? Let's see, we've got C, F, and A. That's an F, A, C, root third, fifth. That's gonna be an F over C. And we already know that F in the key of C is our four chord. 
So boom, there's our four chord. And then let's see, what is this going to be? Two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be a four, six, four. And that just stays four, six, four. Next one, we've got an E on the bottom, right? So we know it's over E, whatever this chord is. Let's just look at the other notes, E, G, and C. Unscramble that, it's a C, E, G. That's our C major chord, or our one chord, okay? So then, what do we have from the bottom note? We've got a three, and we've got a six. So this is gonna be a one, six, three, but remember that, remember that gets shortened to just one, six. So boom. All right, next one, what do we have on the bottom? We've got an F, okay? So what are the other chords in here? G, um, I'm sorry, it's not a bass clef. That is, we are not in bass clef. We've got a D on the bottom. Sorry about the little mental errors here. Um, so now we've got a G, B, D, or a G chord. Uh, and in the key of C, again, our G chord is our five chord, okay? Now this, what do we have above there? We've got a fourth. And we've got a six, the bottom, the bottom note. So it's going to be a five, six, four. There you have it. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at this next group here. We've got figured bass, bass on the five, seven chord, right? So these are all going to be five, seven chords. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. So this is G7 over D, which means, look, boom, you've got a D on the bottom. And then you still need... G, B, D, F for your G7. You need four notes, and do we have that? G, B, D, F. Boom, there we go. And since that's built on the D, what inversion is that? G, B, D, built on the fifth, that's second inversion. Second inversion is always on the fifth. All right, next one. This looks to me, because look at they're just stacked in thirds. That looks like an awful lot like root position, right? So this is a G7 chord, right? It's not over anything. So what do we know? Um, a G7 figured bass was originally 5753 five, from up there, and that just gets shortened to 57, right? But look at 753 and then the bottom note. So that's where the figured bass comes from is how it's stacked on top of the bottom note. All right, next one. So we know... This is going to be over B, because B is on the bottom. And uh, let's check out the notes, just to be sure. G, B, D, F. That's a G7. Right? G, B, D, F is how you build a G7 chord. It's always going to be spelled that way. Okay, so we know the B is on the bottom. So this is going to be our 5 chord. And what do we have here? We've got 3, 5, 6. So it's this one, 6, 5, 3. Boom, right there, but that just gets shortened to 6-5. So that's 5-6-5 five, five, right there. And the last one. This is going to be over F, because F is on the bottom. And then we've got G, B, D, F. So since this is built on the 7, we know um, that it's going to be this last one, right? 5-5. Um, or, or, or maybe you don't know it's built on the 7. Uh, so let's say it's five, and then what do we have above that? We've got a two, then we've got a four, and then we've got a six. So six, four, two, which gets shortened to just six, um, which get which just gets shortened to four, two. So this is our five, four, two right there. Okay, and basically, if it's built on the seven, that's your third inversion G chord. I forgot to put G seven there. So there you have it. We've got the root position right here. Um, we've got, a, let's see, what's that built on? A B, so that's a first inversion right there. Uh, G, B, D, this is our second inversion right there because that's built on the fifth. And this is our third inversion right there because it's built on the seven. And uh, that's figured base basics. It's pretty, can be pretty challenging. There's a lot of stuff going on there. If this is new to you, I suggest uh, getting some practice in. Uh, hope this helped. Thanks.